Welcome to Garden Wise Adventures. My name is Malie and today it's a beautiful day. Well, it is a little bit cloudy and it is a tiny bit cold, but all of the snow is gone. It's not below freezing. We had a ton of rain and everything is looking really good for winter that is. So I live in Utah Zone 7 and I wanted to show you some plants that I was a little surprised about that are making for wonderful winter interest and talk a little bit about them. So let me show you what's in my front yard and talk a little bit about those plants. So this is my front yard. I tore out the lawn and planted this about two years ago. This spring will be its third spring. And there's several plants that I was really surprised about that make for wonderful winter interest. Now the grasses obviously always make great winter interest as do lavenders. Lavenders in our area are semi-evergreen. If it doesn't get into the single digits or below zero, then the lavender does not die back and it stays beautiful. I also love the Elijah Blue fescue that stays beautiful, but that's not what we're going to talk about. Let me show you some of the other plants that I really love. Now I have a beautiful weeping Norway spruce in my front yard. I planted this a long time ago to shade out that octagonal window up there. Is it octagonal? No, it's got six sides. I don't know what that's called. But anyway, that small little window was causing me a lot of problems with heating up the house. This is a west-facing house, so I planted this Norway spruce. The deer ate it a little bit last winter, and so we've got some bare branches down at the bottom. And then below that, I planted a succulent garden. And these succulents have been absolutely gorgeous winter interest. This is an Angelina sedum. I love all the colors. You get the bright yellow and then the orange at the tips. This, I don't know the variety, but this is a, this is a hens and chicks, a Semper Vivum, I think is the scientific name. And then this is a new one for me that I absolutely love. This is another little sedum. It's called the blue spruce sedum and you actually get purple colors in, in it. And then underneath my grape hyacinth, we have another Semper Vivum that is really gorgeous. And then look at the colors on this Angelina sedum. They just shine. It's almost like they glow throughout the winter. I don't know the name of this sedum either, but it's evergreen over the winter. And keep in mind, they've been buried in the snow and they've hit almost single digits. We didn't quite get to the single digits, but it was a low teens. More Semper Vivums that were buried. And then we've got this tricolor, I don't know exactly the name of it, but this tricolor sedum that's got pink new growth, a little fuzzy Semper Vivum, and then another cute little sedum, and then another Angelina, Angelina sedum. And then there's some, some more of that tricolor, or I don't know what this sedum is right here, but more of the blue spruce sedum, and it's absolutely gorgeous, especially in this beautiful little clay pot. I absolutely lo love this pot. This pot, I purchased it at an estate sale when my niece got married in Eureka. She and her husband love Eureka, and so they made that their wedding destination. And there was an old timer who had died and they were having his estate sale. And out in his yard, he had so many wonderful things there. Now I am noticing we are getting some flaking, so I may need to move this inside. But I absolutely love this little clay pot. Now these are two different kinds of ice plant. This variety up here has turned purple and this one stayed green. One of them's fire spinner. I think this one is fire spinner. I don't know the name of the other one. Next to that we have our box honeysuckle. We haven't had as deep a snow so the deer haven't come down into my yard and eaten them like they did last year. But the box honeysuckle is absolutely gorgeous and I think this one's called thunderbolt. Can't wait to see what it looks like as it grows larger. Another one that's great for winter interest is the germander. Look how beautiful that is. Those stay, those stay semi-evergreen. You know, if it gets below zero, they would probably die back to the ground, but then they'd grow back. The deer also ate these last year, but they grew back beautifully. This is a grinding stone that I bought at the same estate sale as I did the pot that I previously showed you. I absolutely love it. So if you're living in a colder climate and are looking for things to give added winter interest, those are just a few that I have found in my yard that were surprises to me that have made a lot of beautiful winter interest. And I would love to hear what you have in your yards. What do you use for winter interest? 
I don't use too many evergreens. I have my blue spruce and I have my weeping Norway spruce. I'd like to get a few other evergreens and I would love to hear your suggestions. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has been helpful, I hope you like, subscribe, share it with your friends and go have a wonderful garden adventure.